Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Halfway up a near vertical ravine in the Andes there is a carved inverted v-shaped entrance into a mountainside. The mountainside was then sliced with great precision to create a shallow doorway that goes nowhere. This is Nialpa Iglesia, a truly fascinating Peruvian ruin in the sacred valley of the High Andes, located 30 kilometers away from Machu Picchu and close to Cuzco. Although the history books say that the ruins have an Inca origin, this interpretation, like many of the mainstream views, is clearly inaccurate, as we know that the Inca simply did not have the technology to construct the marvellous architecture we see. Like with Machu Picchu and Cuzco, Peru, Inca stonework was certainly added to the site at a later date, but Nialpa Iglesia certainly predates the Inca, but how much older we simply do not know. Some estimate that like Puma Punku, it could be thousands of years earlier. Apparently, the geometry of Nyalpa Iglesia shows a detailed understanding of astronomy, and, just like with the Great Pyramid of Egypt, specific angles and mathematical ratios can also be found. Although the mountain is made of sandstone, it is clear that the reason this specific area was chosen is because of a specific outcrop of bluestone, which was carved into what we now call the altar. Bluestone is known for its piezoelectric qualities, and this particular example also displays magnetism. When the Incas came to occupy the site, it was given the name Nyalpa Waka, which means Church of the Ancients. According to researcher David Walton, he was told that the Nyalpas are inhabitants of the spirit world, or worlds before our own. Mythologically, they can travel across space by manifesting themselves around sunset or dawn at certain sacred locations, and this is one such location. Sadly, like with many great structures of our ancient past, the bluestone altar has been deliberately destroyed, most likely by the invading Spanish in the 16th century. Boreholes have been drilled through the structure, as seen above the central niche, explosives were added and large pieces of the altar have been broken off. But interestingly, the Spanish invaders would not have had the technology to drill such hard stone to such depths, so the holes are actually believed to be part of the original structure. But it was within these drill holes that explosives were added, probably in the form of black powder, and the altar was, in effect, blown up. This was almost certainly done to destroy what to the Christians would have been a clearly important pagan site. Everybody that has been to the site agrees that Nialpa Iglesia is a place that has a special energy, which can only be described if you visit, and maybe this is the reason why the Spanish Christians sought to destroy it. The cave ceiling at Nialpa Iglesia dominates the site, forming an inverted V cut and smoothed with laser-like precision. The interior was then sliced with great precision to create a shallow doorway that bizarrely goes nowhere. The same concept of a blocked stone doorway also appears at other locations in Peru, as well as in ancient Egypt. The bluestone outcrop was carved into the three alcoves that we see. Although it is still called Inca stonework, it is certainly not true and Inca stonework pales in comparison, both in terms of scale and quality. The Incas certainly inherited the site, and the style is certainly consistent with what is found in Cuzco, Pumapunku, and other such precise megalithic sites. Erwin Salazar Garcias, the scientific director of Planetarium Cuzco, says that the axes of the niches of the stone altar projected at certain times of the year point to positions of the stars and constellations. There is something truly magical about this site, and you can't help but think that the rock-cut doorway truly looks like a gateway into another world. How the doorway was cut, we have absolutely no idea, but elders calling such an opening a spirit door is certainly fitting. The perfectly drilled holes must have been part of the original construction, 
They must have had a function, and interestingly, similar holes have been found in hard stone at other sites in Peru and Bolivia, most notably at Tiwanaku and Cusco. Nothing about this site was done by accident. The measurements of the main chamber are not random. The length to height ratio is 3 to 1, making a perfect musical fifth in the second octave. The ratio of the alcove is 5 to 6, and it makes a minor third. The site of Nyalpa Iglesia was certainly chosen due to the outcrop of bluestone, and as those interested in ancient British history will know, bluestone is also found in the oldest part of Stonehenge, and I don't think this is a mere coincidence. At both sites, the bluestones are believed to be sacred. The outcrop at this site has been expertly carved into three niches, and, although partly destroyed, the delicate workmanship is still evident. It also displays the common three-step design which apparently defines the Andean view of the universe, the underworld, the physical middle world, and the spiritual other world. The concept is idealised in the Shikana, commonly known as the Andean cross. Shikana means to bridge or cross, and it describes how the three levels of existence are connected to each other. At present, there isn't a great deal known about the ancient site of Nyalpa Iglesia, but it is yet more evidence for an ancient lost civilization, who used a form of lost technology to create truly marvellous stone structures. Together with the early stonework of Machu Picchu, Cusco and Pumapunku, the history of Peru and Bolivia certainly goes back a lot further into antiquity. And I, for one, believe we are seeing the remnants or the resurgence of an ancient civilization that was wiped out at the end of the last ice age. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.